nature is a big influence for me. We have to think how to develop in a sustainable way. Sustainability design approach is the thing you need to respond to the society. The Naman retreat, we also start with the function. We don't uh, make aesthetic before function. Aesthetic only comes when function is good. You create the space with all different senses. How people feel the space, we have to put all different senses. Of course, I have to deal with my own context as a Vietnamese culture. We are influenced by Chinese, French, colonial, and, and a part of uh, Japanese. It's a part of uh, American. So kind of mix all period, where like all the cultures mixed together. But we are Vietnamese. So how to design a space for Vietnamese in, in, in terms of that sense? Uh, we are here in a tropical country. We have to deal with climate and the energy consumption is the first thing you have to think of. How to minimize the, the, the energy when you use uh, to build a project. Whole ground floor, we don't need the aircon. All open. And then upstairs, depending on the season, we might need in the summer really hot. Otherwise, we don't need to. All surrounding is a bungalow, restaurant, and it's, we have left over the square box. With all surrounding, we, we, we cannot look outside. We create two different, uh, two, two stories, right? One is on the ground floor. We make it uh, reception, waiting areas. So that's why we make the square box and we have the void in the middle. So from outside looking in, you don't see anything, but from inside look out from the treatment room, you see the, the garden. So the people look inward instead of outward. In Vietnam, we have to let our clients know that, okay, you take one square meter to build, become a concrete. So how you pay back for nature or for next generation? Resource of uh, nature is limited. We have to think how to develop in a sustainable way. We have to think the same for the future generation. If we don't do so, so uh, how much longer the earth, you know, will disappear.